Hey you guys! Thank you so much for tuning into my video today. So I'm going to talk a little bit about how I've been feeling and the recent energy shifts which have been very positive, kind of taking me out of the deep down muck of the self-exploration journey, right? Um, feeling the heaviness of the collective. There's some really hardcore stuff that I had been exploring at the end of that really tight clench that is slowly released now and I can breathe again, right? Do you guys ever experience the energy shifts like this where it's like, it seems to, it starts out really light and sometimes you get blasts in there and then it kind of feels like life's getting better and then it's slowly getting more and more intense and more crushing and you're like, and then it like gets to this point where you're like, what is going on? <laughs> am, I like, am I like being crushed right now? Um, and then somewhere like in the moments where it's like, I can't take much more of whatever this is, it's just like, it just chills out and then everything becomes fine again. This is, this is a spiritual awakening journey. This is not like a, a, a mental insanity. I swear to God, this is actually us acclimating energetically to a shift in our consciousness. That's fucking awesome. Is it okay for me to say bad words in these videos? That is effing awesome. So that way it's more appropriate. It's great. It's really good. So all right, so one cool thing that I have been exploring a lot, or it's actually been, um, it's, it's sort of like, a, you know, showing me itself, like the jack in the box says, hello, hello, and it keeps doing this, and there's, so the, the, there's this theme, right? The theme is all about the higher self, and it's been coming up a lot that we are starting to engage with our higher selves in a way that we haven't before, okay? Because a lot of us are still working with this imprint, so it's like, Alien implants, are there really uh, alien implants or are they imprints? I don't like to call anything an implant. Um, I like to explore it more as an imprint. And I don't like to define it as alien because it kind of sounds a little bit scarier. Um, it's universal, all right? It's an, a universal idea that gets imprinted into your spiritual atmosphere. Obviously, you could talk about actual physical devices. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about etheric um, etheric imprints. All right. So we're all energy bodies. We're energy bodies. It's so freaking fascinating because I'm here like a physical being, right? Talking to you, but I am my higher self speaking to you right now. And on what level and what version of my higher self's vibration am I speaking through? Okay. Because we're, we're interdimensional beings. So I'm, I'm interdimensionally connected to every single thing in a whole entire universe. Um, but I'm having a really special individualized experience as a God consciousness, as a human being, as Abby normal, right? But you're also a God consciousness. We're all God consciousness or goddess consciousness or God and goddess consciousness, however you want to define it. We're all the universe talking, walking around as individual little cells in the universal body you know it's cool stuff but one of these imprints right so we're universes so we don't have to worry about imprints because imprints don't define us we allow the imprint to to sort of integrate into our world we don't realize that it's there and then we say hey why have i been um exploring this or going in that direction this that wasn't really doing me any good um and then you shift and change and now the imprint uh, goes away on its own just by change a change in your own conscious choices a change to love yourself more will allow that imprint to just evaporate on its own. But anyway, I want to get back to this because one of the biggest imprints I'm finding is that a society teaches us from the beginning that we are human. And as human, we are not God. You know, even religion t teaches you that, that you have to have Jesus as your middleman who will, who will forgive you for your sins in order for you to even talk to God. And you can't really even talk to God until you die. And if God deems you worthy to talk to God, then you can talk to God. Otherwise, you're going to hell forever, forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Isn't that so bogus? It's so freaking bogus. All right, anyway, you don't need a middleman. You, you already are Jesus. You already are God. And that's the cool part about this sort of awakening realization that we are part of everything. So you already are your higher self and your higher self is not a separate entity from you. Your spirit guides are not separate entities from you. You're all connected. Everybody is all connected to each other. They're like this super universal root system um, that, that, that is a part of everything. It's so cool. 
All right, so a lot of the work I'm doing is getting people um, in tune with their higher selves and removing this imprint, this idea that you are human, you are less than, you are beneath God, which is then beneath yourself, and then thus separates you from yourself. The lightest, most loving, most brightest version of you, you are choosing, the imprint has inspired you to choose to be separated from love, from the most loving part of yourself. And you didn't even know it was happening. I, like I'm finding this, I'm coming across this a lot right now. And so that is part of what my calling is to do is bring people back into their highest self, which is to raise their vibration, which is to work with the love and the light that they already are. And removing that imprint, removing that, that, uh, that brick wall that says I'm human, I'm not a god god or goddess reflection, I'm not a higher self, Removing that blends you now with your higher self and now you can glow and shine your light as you are, as you truly are. So this, this is one of these big things. So I work with dark and light and I, do, I mean, dark can be so gorgeous too. So don't think dark is an evil or negative thing unless it truly is evil, all right? Light can be evil as well. <laughs> so, so there's everything. There's everything in this giant, awesome universe. So we, so we have like a dark side, all right? So we usually say that the dark side is the evil side and the light side is the good side. So, so, so I'm, I'm working with like, there we are, there's the dark side of yourself. Um, and it's twisting you up and it's inspiring you to work a lot with your ego and your head. So I find the dark side of ourself is oftentimes really, it's persecuting us. It's, a, it's evaluating us in a negative way. It's evaluating our life in a negative way. It's telling us we don't have um, a future. We don't have the power. We don't have the strength to get out of this abusive relationship. We don't have to, you know, and, the, and then we're getting stuck in the mind. And I start to see that this, e this sort of dark side, this ego-based side, um, is, is basically destroying you and keeping you low, 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 down, 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 down. And it's separating you from being inside your heart, where your higher self is. But if you're, if you're kind of not tuned into that, if you're not tuned into working with love or your higher self, and you're not tuned into the awareness that you already are your higher self, or how do I connect with myself... Well, it is you. How do you connect with yourself? Well, your higher self is you. It's not separate from you. So I got to change that program, right? And get people into the awareness, get the ego even into the awareness that it's okay to let the light shine. It's okay to get connected here, all right? So I wanna, I'm wanna. i gonna just close my eyes for a moment and I just wanna feel out what, what I should say next here. So just give me a second. I'm actually, I'm like tapping into my own heart portal space and my own higher self. <laughs> it's like, I am my higher self speaking to you right now. But also sometimes I need to shut up so I can actually hear another version of my higher self inside my heart. And then I'll tell you what that version of me has to say. See, so you could shut up too and get into your heart portal space and see what that version of you has to say. <laughs> so funny. Okay, so I'm going to just chill out for a minute and let's see what this part of me has to say. I'm going to go into my heart portal space. I literally just feel my consciousness in my heart portal space. It's, it's just like I'm making a choice. The intention is go into my heart portal space. I'm teaching you right now how to do this. All right, it's nice and warm in my heart portal space. I feel like I can grow and expand when I'm connected to my heart portal space. I feel like I have unlimited possibilities. Like there's nothing, no, nothing blocking my pathway except fear. And where does fear come from? And is fear truly real? It's only as real as you fear it, right? <laughs> so in my heart, I, I see that I have limitless opportunities, okay? Now, I'm going to go into my head for a minute. I just want to see what happens if I move my consciousness into my head. I think this is really interesting right now. Let's see. My head is smiling and saying, it's okay, Abby. If you want to work with your heart, I'm cool with that. So how many people, <laughs> you know, and, and that's not always how it goes. I'll, I'll be honest with you. It just seems to be that way right now. <laughs> so if I check on my head here, uh, like tomorrow, it might be saying something else. <laughs> that's so funny. Anyway, but oftentimes, you know, our head is at the forefront. 
and then our heart is sort of hanging out back there. But if we can get our mental body kind of hanging out on the back burner and saying, it's okay, if you want to work with your heart, Abby, I'm ready for you to work with your heart. That's cool with me. Everything feels good when you're working with your heart. Man, that's a great way to be in balance. So I just feel like this is just a little mini message to talk about the higher self, um, the programming that separates you from your higher self. How many of you out there feel like your higher self is not connected to you, like it's a separate entity? A lot of people do. I did for a long time as well. I couldn't figure out how to be my higher self or how to work with my higher self until I started to realize that I was my higher self. And then once I started to realize I was my higher self, I wasn't quite sure how to like, am I my higher self? How do I be my higher self? Am I being my higher self right now? And the more I got in tune with my heart, the more I started to discover I'm many different versions of my higher self because I'm already spirit right now and I'm already interdimensionally connected. So I can speak any language, but what language am I choosing to speak? My highest self is speaking the language of love. My, my, I don't even want to define it as my lowest self, um, but but my, there's alter, alter ego or my ulterior um, perspective, my ego, my, um, you know, my humanism uh, is afraid. My instinct can, is afraid. My instinct is confused. My instinct is um, wanting something that I can't have. My instinct is all these things that is so humanistic. Um, and so I started to learn about all the different aspects that create a single identity that is, which is myself, and that is you too. How all the different aspects that create your single identity. This is neat. This is neat stuff. And I'm finding this is a big message for right now is I'm here to tell you, you are already your higher self and you don't need to see your higher self as a separate entity. It's okay to identify yourself as your higher self right now and now get in touch with the way your heart is guiding you. Not the way your head is guiding you, the way your heart is guiding you. This is human evolution. Moving consciousness from mind into heart. And now heart guiding you, no matter what's going on in your life, no matter how your heart might say something that's gonna hurt somebody else's feelings, mainly because they need to work on themselves, perhaps, or mainly because you wanna just be honest with them and you're afraid that they aren't ready for honesty. Who isn't ready for honesty? I mean, and if they're not ready for honesty, they need to work on that. There's something they gotta work on. This is a big deal. It's time for the honesty to come out. It's time for us to be our higher selves or to just not be. To be honest with who we are is to be the love that we are. That is who we truly are. Otherwise we're fear. Otherwise we're a human instinct. Otherwise we're an ego. And you can be that too. You can be whatever you wanna be. So I hope you find this message interesting. Hope it gives you some perspective. You should work with this, work with this definitely. And if you would like me to help you um, do energetic work to get you in tune with your higher self, I would love it. I would absolutely love it. I actually did a session recently where um, I did a higher self attunement. So that was the request. Um, a higher self attunement. I didn't get to share it on my Abby Psychic Services YouTube channel. I, I share psychic sessions um, out there. Uh, but uh, um, it was fantastic. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, an attunement to your higher self. If you want an attunement to your higher self or you would just like to get to know your higher self or you want to know any about anything energetically related to you, I would love to help you with that. Um, so get connected with me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Thank you all for watching and I wish you all a wonderful day.